Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Um, hi, Chris. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm having a problem uh, connecting my home theater system to my PC. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what part? Uh, it's like uh, I, 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 I can hear like sounds from it, but, but when I play games and stuff, I, I don't get surround sound. Uh, what are you playing games on? Uh, uh, on my PC. On your PC? Um, well, uh, it could be the cable that's connecting your PC to your home theater. Uh, it could be the receiver that you're going into. It could be, it's not the game, because if you've got, you've, you've been able to pull 5.1 out before, or... Yeah, I've like, I've enabled it in the game, but... Right, you've enabled it in the game, but just because you've enabled it in the game doesn't mean that the hardware will support it. So either, you know, it could be that your the sound card that you're using, I'm, I'm guessing, is, is likely going to support 5.1 at this point. So it could be the way that you're, uh, what cable you're going out uh, of your sound card and into your speakers, um, you know, with. In fact, I've got, um, you know, the Mac that I, the, the, this particular Mac has got uh, 5.1, you know, surround sound capability, you know, but I need a certain kind of cable, and I need to connect that to, well, of course, you know, optical link directly to speakers that can take that link. So I have to go through, even though I've got 5.1 surround sound here, and hardware can have it, the connections aren't going to, the connections won't work. These speakers were, were you know, really designed for um, a different kind of computer. And, um, well, at least a different kind of sound card that I've had, you know, through the years, but, you know, Apple's doing it differently. They're actually going a better route. Instead of having five cables connecting or three cables connecting to a sound card, they only have one. Well, they have more than one, but if you want to if you want 5.1, you just plug in the optical link there and then into in, into a speakers or receiver or, or what have you. Um, so do, you know what kind of cable are you leading out of your yeah, sound card? Yeah, I'm using like the standard 3.5, uh, like the standard stereo cable. Yeah, just a mini jack. Um, if you're only using one mini jack. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That will not give you 5.1 surround sound. That will give you likely just two channels. Um, you, you, to get 5.1 surround sound, you're likely going to have to lead out at least three cables. Um, you know, one for your front speakers, two for your rear, and then another either for your subwoofer center. They, they split them differently. Um, but uh, that could be, like I said, the cable limitation there. If you've got... Um, and then it could be the receiver, too, that you're going into. If you have the, the chance of going with an optical link, I'd take it. Every, any day, I'd take it. Better quality sound. Less cables to deal with. So you might want to check your receiver. If it has an optical link... Yeah, it, it has, like, an optical input, but my sound card doesn't support that. So. Okay. Do you want to get it? Would you be willing to, you know, spend how, whatever it took to get a, an optical link sound card into your system? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll have to do that. Then that's what I'd do. That's what I'd recommend because, again, you know you're dealing with optical. You know you're dealing with digital. You know you're just, you are just only have one cable to deal with. There's no un plugging it into the wrong port. It just It's there. Is your sound card right now uh, built onto the motherboard? Uh, yeah. Okay. So well, then you, yeah. you, can all, you can still use it. Um, it's an, just another sound card in your system, or you could just disable it, likely, in, uh, in BIOS, in setup before, you know, Windows boots and everything. But then, at that point, um, you know, as long as, you know, the sound card that has the optical link will likely have drivers that will support it so that when you turn that feature on in the game, the hardware that you're using will support it, the cable that you're connecting into the speakers will support it, or the cable that you're connecting to the receiver for the speakers will support it, and then you know you, you should be good. Then if you still are having issues, then, you know, we, we'd ha probably have to, a different uh, set of, of uh, troubleshooting tactics. Yeah, but then how come it works with, like, DVD players and stuff? And it, it works with my Xbox 360. Uh, I've connected it to the same receiver. Yeah, but it's, it's what the cables that you're connecting to the, to, uh, to the receiver from your Xbox 360 are what? What are you, what are you, how are you it's connecting? Like the, the, the two, the RC right. engines. Right, your left-right uh, channel. Called, exactly. Yeah, your, your left-right left, audio channels. Yeah. Right. The red and white cables, yeah. Right. 
Well, you're 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 going to be that's diff, that's a different kind of audio connection than a single mini jack. I mean, if, no, no, no. I mean, um, it's like the one the one I use for my PC. It, it's like uh, it's like an audio jack on one side and like two RCA cables on the other. So. Well, if it's coming, whatever you've got connected out of your uh, Xbox, I mean, it's I can tell you, I can almost guarantee it's not the same thing you got coming out of your PC. Almost guaranteed. You know, and if you think you're getting 5.1, you may be getting 5.1. Have you run an actual test on it? Like games like Halo 3 could come, might come with, depending on which version you get, may come with a tester disc. And some games out there, uh, so, so you're actually... Yeah, can, I've, 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 I've run some, like, a sound tests on my system. And on what system? On the I, Xbox or on the no, receiver? on my PC. Uh, I, I, I was running some like uh, sound tests on my PC, and and the, the and the sound that's supposed to come from the rear speakers, I can hear it from the front. So that's, that's definitely not working. Right. No, it won't. But what what I'm saying is, your connection from your PC to the receiver is going to be different than the connection going from your Xbox to your receiver or television or whatever you have it plugged into. If you haven't run a test, you don't know. It may sound like, oh, yeah, I'm getting 5.1. Every speaker may be going off, but that doesn't mean you're getting 5.1 surround sound, truly. You'll know, and you will know. You will, it will be very definitive. Like, it is coming from that speaker. Or it is coming from, it's coming there, it's coming there. That is the subwoofer. You will know beyond a shadow of a doubt. And the only way to do that effectively is to, you know, run a speaker test with the device that you're dealing with. So either it's going to be a piece of software on your PC that you can run a speaker test with, uh, and usually driver software has something on there where you can, you know, y you press this little button and it goes do 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 on that speaker, do 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 on that speaker, on that, and it goes around so you know, okay, well I'm mapping correctly at the hardware level, so then I've got to troubleshoot at the next step is is it the software? Is it how is it not working or how is it not operating with X, Y, and Z? So unless you're doing that specifically on an Xbox, and the only I know there there are likely more uh, tester discs that are out there, but the one that's you know fresh in my mind is the one that that came with my Halo 3 pack. It's just a disc. It said, "Pop it in. Make sure you're all calibrated. Run it." Because that's how we notice. It's like, wait a minute. That doesn't. That, I'm getting noise out of all the speakers, but it's surrounding me. But that's not surround sound. And then as soon as we flipped something on the receiver, where we turned it specifically to, uh, I think it was the, it was Adobe Digital uh, like a, a setting. We we tripped it, and then all of a sudden, boom! I was like, okay, now we're talking 5.1 surround sound. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I get it. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Audio's fun once you get used to it. Sometimes, uh, okay. it, some, sometimes it's going to be a pain in the neck to troubleshoot through. But uh, you know, once you get to that point, um, yeah, just just uh, well, let the rest of the world know because I guarantee you're not the only person who's faced this situation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Yep. Yeah, bye. I have a feeling that wasn't the answer he wanted.